Right, I'm on the N3. There we are. Traffic coming, it's the Saturday. Uh, the first day of busy traffic and holiday, and I'm within the right hand lane and a fastest truck on the right. And I thought that's impossible. That can't be on our roads. So I went to the next off ramp, turned around, got to the other off ramp, and came back. And this piece of scrap rubbish is on our road again. I'm going to try to take you quickly around here. What happened was, what is very disappointing is that two cops stopped here this morning and told him that he must just move more to the side of the road. They didn't see anything wrong with this truck, which they should have immediately seen. For a start, the load is not secured. It is all over the place. On the other side, I will show you. Uh, let's, I'm going to take a quick walk around here. If we look at that there. Now, here's an interesting one. Look how damaged that is. Apparently, this truck, a guy told me, was involved in a jackknife just the other day. And it's back on the road. There's the guy fixing the air pump. The city hovers, that, that red is not even connected. But it didn't matter if it was, because it's got no brakes. It's no fuel tank. How often do we see this? How often? Check out this thing. Here's the one down the again. And this is the damage from the, from the jackknife the other night. And yeah, it is there. He said he had a water pump problem. Now, if you notice, there are no discs here. I'll come back to that. There are no discs. I look there, there. It looks like it might be a disc up there, but there's no disc. Okay? FXK 195MP, belonging to a metal company. Yeah, you see the kitchen there. With a pump, but there's much more than that. Like the gentleman here, he's going to need a lot more than that, I will say. Look at this battery here. And here is the city address that I've disconnected. Okay, there all by wire. But it doesn't matter because under the truck, under the truck, look at that load waiting to come off. So this reminds me so much of that Botswana truck. And that load is supposed to be secured by law. The load is supposed to be secured. That stuff is waiting to fall off into your car and my car and come through your head. Look up underneath there. That's the condition of the trailer. Look at this tire. Okay. Look how flat they are. All the tires are underinflated. Okay. All underinflated. And look, there's a puncture. And uh, I'm going to try to get under the truck. You're going to bear with me. There we are. That's all messed. And that's what it looks like. And this truck is, uh, this tire is totally um, unroadworthy. Really. It's totally bald. If we look inside here, this is the interesting part, okay? Well, there's all your metal and that. There we are. Let's go underneath here. Come with me. Let's go over the car brakes are done. Oh, there is the brake drum. It has got nothing inside it. But ah, hold on, wait, there's a new system. They're using cans. There's a can. Can you see the can? I hope it stays in focus. There's the can. Now this, it, because it's a slack adjuster, it's totally loose, not connected to the brake booster up there. There's not even an air zoo connected rod. Sorry about the jerkiness of this. There's the connected rod. Okay, and it's tightly loose. So there's no brakes there. All right, and uh, the load sensing valve disconnected. I'm just looking at the bent camshafts, and it just goes on and on and on. Uh, AB is disconnected. The manufacturer's plate, there is no manufacturer's data plate, but this was stuck in like this. Let me put it back in. Yeah, you can see the groove there. That was a groove from the coke can. There's a coke can. Was stuck in like that. There we are. That's how it was. That's how the coke can was stuck in. Just like that. Into a brake drum with no brakes. No shoes, no nothing. All the airbags are flat. There's your stack adjuster totally loose. Everything is loose down there. It's an, a death trap, this thing. Now, my manufacturer's darts about there. Look how loose. flat all the tires are. The manufacturer's darts about there. Bear with me. Sorry, guys. I'm getting out of this truck now. I stopped. That's the story. I stopped. Went down. Two cops stopped this morning and asked him to put it to the side. I cannot accept that. Look at the light in here. So I phoned Mr. Wayne Minow and I said I want to cop you. The guy came. Now his problem is that apparently this was discontinued according to the owner because we phoned the owner. Um, and
And according to the owner, this was discontinued some time ago or a couple of ago. No, I'm lying. He said it was discontinued this morning. So we said, well, why are you carrying the load? It was discontinued. And it's a tall story. He actually arrived there while I was on the phone to Philip Holden from Vernon and um, then disappeared. And then when we find him, the cop found him, he said he was in Durban. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at. Now the cop has got a problem. Okay? He had not got the discontinuation disc. The owner hadn't got the discontinuation form. So what do you do with this thing? It sits here on the side of the road. It does not have a triangle. Triangle is not a it does not have a triangle. Okay, so that alone is illegal. Just everything is legal. Look at that waiting to come up. So ladies and gentlemen of South Africa, parliamentarians of South Africa, Julius Malema of South Africa, everybody of South Africa. There are far more important things than some of the rubbish I hear going on in our parliament to concentrate on. One of them is to get stuff like this off our roads. Once and for all, a peak out traffic on a holiday. Look at this. This is a Saturday afternoon. I'm going to get this many cars. And so there we go. Let's look inside here. Let's look here. Ooh, watch out. Good is Christmas back. Anyway, this thing is not going anywhere. The cop, uh, cannot get a tow, we can't get the owner on the line to do the tow truck. So we said that if it moves, the camera is on it, the Sunrail camera, we will inform the Sunrail, there we are, there's the Sunrail camera, we will inform the Sunrail control centre, everything will be on record if this moves, implement every section that can be implemented. Uh, this has to be towed away with the tow truck as soon as the guys can get hold of the owner. Right, I'm on my way to Van Renan, another truck. Scrappy. This is not a truck. This is a scrappy. Another piece of scrap off the road. <laughs>